grade, and this is our last broadcast of 2020. To start off our broadcast, I have a quick reminder. On Friday, December 18th at 9 a.m., we are going to have our virtual winter celebration. Tune in live on Meadowbrook's YouTube channel. The event is for our entire Meadowbrook community. Students, parents, grandparents, and alumni. Don't miss it. Now let's see what Meadowbrook has been up to with some weekly highlights. are still working hard during our last weeks in break before uh, weeks in school before break. Next we have a PSA on physical distancing by a couple of our friends in the eighth grade. Hi Meadowbrook friends! As you guys can see, Heidi and I are six feet apart. We're in the same cohort, but if we weren't, we'd have to be ten feet apart. These orange dots on the ground are placed exactly six feet apart. So if you don't know how far six feet is, just step on the dots. Each cohort has received their own carbon pole that is six feet long to help people understand how far six feet is. These poles are used to make sure that you guys are all physically distanced. That means your desks all need to be physically distanced too. Make sure to stay socially distanced to keep the Meadowbrook community safe. It's simple to stand six feet apart. Wow, thanks for reminder, Ellie, Heidi, and myself. It's really important that we keep on keeping our distance. Next, since this is our only December broadcast, we have a lot of birthdays to celebrate. Let's take a look. Happy birthday, everybody, and thanks to Elizabeth in the eighth grade for making such a nice presentation. Oh, would you look outside? It sure looks like snow has come. With the weather report, we have a senior kindergarten teacher, Miss Betterly. How's it looking, Miss Betterly? Pretty good. Thanks, Miss Betterly. Speaking of chilly in winter, Anastasia from the eighth grade is going to tell us five facts about winter. Hi, Winterbrook. Welcome back to Five Facts in 50 Seconds with me, Anastasia. Today's category is all about winter. Fact number one, did you know that winter on Uranus lasts for 21 years? Fact number two, did you know that during winter in Siberia, it gets so cold that your breath turns into ice in midair? Fact number three, did you know that the North Pole is warmer than the South Pole? Fact number four, did you know that the sun is closest to the Earth in winter? Crazy, right? Final fact number five, if you believe that it takes wet snow to build a snowman, you are correct. One scientist says that your snow to water ratio should be 5 to 1. Thanks for joining me on 5 Facts in 50 Seconds with me, Anastasia. And thanks to the cool websites that provided this information. Have a great break. Bye. Thanks so much, Anastasia. Finally, to conclude the school year, we have another short film by Jacob in the 8th grade. Forest, Forest Gump. You know, these leaves remind me of fall at my old school when I was a little boy. After all these years, I still remember my school well. It was called Meadowbrook. When I was applying to Meadowbrook, I went to visit day. 
they gave us the most delicious cinnamon rolls I ever had in my whole life. I was so excited to have those cinnamon rolls for snack every day. But you know what? I never did see those cinnamon rolls again. I was still excited to learn all sorts of new things at Meadow Brook. They told me I was going to have a history class. But then I found myself in something called GPS. I still don't know what GPS stood for, but I was ready to learn. Miss White, what are we going to learn in GPS class? Well, Forrest, GPS class is all about learning to unpack your biases. How are we going to do that, Miss White? You're going to research a vegetable, of course. Now, that's not a joke. I really did have to research a vegetable for GPS class. I picked pumpkins. I know they're really a fruit, but I got away with it. Now, I didn't think I had any biases about pumpkins. I always thought pumpkins were perfectly nice for pumpkin pies. But did you know you can make pumpkin bread, pumpkin soup, pumpkin ice cream, pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin waffles, pumpkin cream, pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin lasagna, pumpkin risotto, and that's about it. After GPS, I ran on the cross-country team. One of my coaches was Mr. M. Now, Mr. M made us run in the rain and the snow. Run, Forrest, run! But for all those times he made us run, I never did see Mr. M run at all. In fact, I don't even know what Mr. M did at Meadow Brook. But I suppose that's life. You know, Mr. Grover always said, life is like a GPS class. I still don't know what that even was. Nice job, Jacob. I have a lot of fond memories of that GPS class, too. That concludes our final broadcast of 2020. Remember that after winter break, we will return remotely on Monday, January 4th and Wednesday, January 6th. Tuesday, January 5th will be a COVID testing day for all students and faculty. I'm Bella, and have a happy new year and stay safe and warm in 2021.